All right, so this is a small block Chevy head. It's a 305 head. This is a valve spring compressor. This is my favorite kind. It's the fastest, but on springs that are heavier than about 300 pounds or more, like big double springs, you might have a little bit of trouble with one of these. This part likes to start flexing and stuff and almost acts like it wants to break. So how this works, this sets up against the valve retainer, and this part pushes up against the valve to compress the spring. First step is to adjust, adjust this part where it's tight, or not tight, but just where it fits. Just take the slack out of it, it doesn't need to be tight. And then you adjust this part. All right, to start out, put this on there. Put that part on there. Put it on the center of the valve. I don't know how, I, how to explain how tight to, to adjust this part. But you kind of got to just uh, squish it once. And if it's not squished far enough, then just kind of tighten it again a little bit more. And voila! This is a stock small block spring. And yeah, I'm not, I don't have enough strength to actually do it. I don't ever recommend hitting any of this with a hammer, but it's either this or, or uh, don't get it loose. But you can you could tap it like that, and it'll kind of like uh, make these un, uh, get unstuck. Now that that's unstuck, you could do the same thing as before. You see that took a lot of force and it slipped sideways. That's kind of like how you do it, but don't do it like that. Like that's not good. They have these two little keepers. They have these two little keepers that stick in the top groove and they're little wedges. And whenever you push the, there are little wedges that go up in there. And whenever you push this down, these, these, these could come off and then the valve could come out. This valve is supposed to have an O-ring right here and it has this type of seal. I think that might just be called an umbrella. I think the other ones have little springs on them. Anyway, whatever. It's machined for the good seals anyway. And it was supposed to have a little O-ring right here that just flaked off. There it goes, the intake valve. Let me try to do this one and maybe this time I'll actually look like I know what I'm doing. I'm going to readjust this thing first to make it a little bit tighter so it won't slip like it did. Just put it on the same way and squish it. Be careful because this could pop loose or something. Just try not to pinch your fingers. Take out the keepers and the, the little o-ring flaked apart like the other one. Then you just release it. Then you just release it like that. Don't let your valve drop and hit the concrete. That was actually a bad demonstration. I didn't realize till later on that the tool was adjusted improperly. It was too tight. And I, I mean, that just shows what happens whenever you don't adjust it properly. I mean, I did kind of say I didn't really know exactly where to put it without just trying it. I actually went ahead and done one with the machine actually uh, set up better. It was uh, looser. Anyway, you can take this stuff off, take the spring out. Now you can drop the valve down through there. Mm. Or not. Ah, it's stuck. The valve is stuck because it has some kind of wear mark right here. It has like a little, it has a little like, I don't even know what you call that, but that's why it's stuck. Instead of forcing it through, I'm going to take a Dremel and polish that off. Because, yeah, trying to drive it through there is just going to be a, like you'll probably really get stuck. Alright, to take it out, you put this on the top, center it on the valve at the bottom, Squish it, and then get the keepers out of there. That's these two little things. 
that go in that groove. To release it, just take it off of there and it's in. All right, now that you have that off, this comes out, this little thing comes out, the spring comes out, the seal comes out. Don't let your valve fall. I almost did that. And now the valve just pulls out. I'm not going to lie to you. The reason why this stuff was already out, like the O-ring, the O-ring goes right there. I already did this demonstration, but I had this tool uh, with... I had this tool adjusted way too tight and I was squishing the spring so far. It's kind of dumb, but I had this adjusted bad, so I had to redo this. Alright, to put this back in, you always want to put new seals and everything. This is just for demonstration purposes only, so don't, so don't call me out for not putting the seals on. Or new seals. You always want to put new seals anytime you take your heads apart. You just might as well. And usually they're bad anyway. These are crispy. So you put the seal in. That's the old one. And then, now you could put the spring on there. Make sure it sits down there like in that little pocket. These, these keepers right here, these are the ones that are for the, for the exhaust valves. Supposedly they make them spin. So those go on the exhaust. The other ones that look like that, the smaller ones, the thinner ones go on the intakes. These go on the exhaust. So once you get to this point, you put this little thing on. I don't even know what it is, but it goes on there. Then you put the, the keeper on. I'm sorry, that's the retainer. And without dropping all your stuff, without dropping anything, center the tool on the center, center this tool on the bottom, and then on the top, and then just squish it. This is the tricky part. It's really not tricky, it's really easy, but this is the part that's actually kind of hard. Okay. At this point, that's whenever you put your O-ring in there, but this is just for demonstration purposes, like I said. So don't call me out for not putting on there. But uh, you take the two little keepers, they're angled, you know, it's kind of obvious. They're angled, the bigger side goes on the top. You put them in the first groove. You put them in the first groove like that. Be careful not to pinch your fingers. Hold them like that with your edge of your fingernails and then release the clamp and make sure you don't pinch yourself and then there you go that's how you put the valve back in some people tap them supposedly it makes them seat this part seat better I don't know I don't really care if you're wondering why I'm taking these apart it's because this valve is stuck anyway but I'm just making sure that these don't wiggle or nothing like that and uh, and if they do, they have to have new guides put in them, and it needs to go to the machine shop. But I'm just inspecting the heads. That's all I'm doing. But that's all that's all I wanted to cover on this video is just how to how to put the valves in and take them out. The end.